Hi YouTube, my name's Drew, and you're watching Drawing with Drew. In today's video, I'm going to show you a little bit of my sketchbook, and I'm going to show you the process I am using for this particular book uh, that I've written, and how I'm going to uh, transfer my pictures that I've drawn in my sketchbook to my computer. Usually I've been drawing just straight on the digital tablet on my UG drawing monitor, but in this case, I'm, I actually drew the book here so that I could uh, watch TV while I was drawing. And so now I'm going to transfer these pictures into Manga Studio. I'm going to start to work on them digitally and uh, eventually upload them to Create Space so that I can publish my book. So, without further ado, let's take a look at a few of my pictures. So this is a relatively new sketchbook here. I, uh, I just started it and I've started with my kind of with what I'm doing here for my new book called The Prank Monkey, I believe, unless I change the name. But, uh, so what, essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take pictures of each one of these uh, pictures that I've drawn, and I don't really care if, um, if uh, they're perfect or not, because I'm gonna be, again, tracing them over in my, uh, on my dra drawing monitor. So, I'll just take some pictures. Now, I've never actually worked this way before, um, where I've actually drawn it physically first. I've usually just done it right onto the computer. Uh, so I'm uh, testing this out, but I can't see why this wouldn't work. So I just finished taking all those pictures of my book, uh, and I, I didn't. I don't have a scanner, which is why I didn't take the pictures. But again, I don't see it being a big issue because I'm going to just, you know, stretch it, distort it, whatever I want to do with it on the actual computer and in my uh, Manga Studio program that I'm going to be using. So now I'm just going to place my uh, all the pictures on my computer and transfer them over into Manga Studio. So I've just copied all those pictures onto my computer, and I made it a separate folder called Sketchbook Photos. And then I've uh, I've labeled each one of those photos based on which number they are. So page one all the way to page 22. And uh, Create Space has a minimum of 24 pages that you need to have in order to publish your book. But when you include things like uh, this book belongs to page, and then a credits page, and then I like to include uh, comprehension uh, questions and activities at the end of my book, I'm easily over the 24 page mark. So uh, at this point, I'm now going to just plug in my drawing monitor and get started. Okay, there we go, we've set up the drawing monitor and I'm just gonna throw on a drawing glove. Okay, my drawing glove is now on and I am finding my drawing pen, which is nowhere to be seen a la moment. And I have my drawing pen here that works with my UG drawing monitor. If you wanna check out my drawing uh, monitor videos, uh, the UG 1910B or the UG 2150, head back to my channel and I've got a few different reviews on those. Uh, great monitors and I highly recommend those. All right, let's go on to Manga Studio. So a slight change of plans here. I'm uh, gonna actually use Photoshop. Uh, I'm not as familiar with it because I do do most of my stuff with Manga Studio, but it's acting up today, so I'm gonna just use Photoshop. And I'm starting on page three of my book because the first two pages, I'm not sure. I might change them a little bit. Um, this one, I'm gonna change the horse's face because I'm not a huge fan of it. But the background, I don't mind. So I'm gonna try that and uh, we'll go from there. So essentially what I've done here is I've opened up uh, the size document when I do my uh, book. This is one of my other books that I've created. Um, it's an eight and a half by eight and a half, and uh, I think it's a good size. I've done two of the same books of this size, which I like a lot because um, they uh, they're good for reading to kids. Like it's a good size, uh, I guess, for pictures and everything else. So I'm going to use this, and I've opened my uh, my pages here. I'm going to just select it, and then I'm going to copy it over to my original page of the eight and a half by eight and a half and just essentially trace it and then I'll just stretch it to the size I'd like it to be because this is a lot smaller for my sketchbook. So I've adjusted the picture the way I want it to fit this uh, the screen size. I've added a new layer so that I can draw on top of this and then remove that layer afterwards and I'm just going to start with the background because uh, I'm going to leave the horse's face to the end since I'm not too happy with it. So I've zoomed out. As you can see, uh, I've traced over a couple of the uh, images here, and I'm just going to remove this original layer, and you can see how it starts to come uh, together, and then makes it easier for coloring and everything else. As I mentioned before, I usually use Manga Studio, so I don't remember all the tips and tricks for Photoshop, unfortunately. Uh, it'll take me a little while to kind of get back to it. I will uh, finish this up later, and hopefully this gives you guys an idea of how I do my process of getting my books published. And uh, if you're interested in checking out any of my books, 
I will link them down below. They're on Amazon and they're roughly about $10 a piece. And if you would like any more advice or tips on how to publish or anything on my, my drawing monitors or anything I use, don't uh, hesitate to contact me by commenting down below and I will respond to every comment I can as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you in the next video.